Jeremy, what did you guys have to do to fight through, come back, and win this one? A lot. I mean, obviously, it's, it was an ugly one. It was a gutsy one. Uh, it was a road win. Everybody was tired, but um, that's the beauty of basketball. That's the beauty of our team is uh, we never gave up. We let Jared and Tyson and uh, lead us, Landry and Shump in the second half offensively, Novak with the big three. I mean, um, <laughs> I struggled a lot tonight, but... I mean, every, everybody who came in gave us a lift and picked us up. Why do you think you struggled? Uh, you know, they did a good job of, you know, making, playing me in the gray areas and making my decision, you know, not necessarily clear. And so I need to go back, take a look. But, um, you know, this is really, this is really just a credit to the team because that's kind of what I've been saying this whole time is this team is, is a team. And, and uh, that's what's so fun to play with. That's why it's so fun to play with them. Said that every night that this is a team thing. But to see Steve hit that huge shot today and then the defense down the stretch. Yeah. It, I mean, that's a little nice for you to see it be about some something else besides. Absolutely, and it's about, it's something. It's it's like that every night, but just sometimes, you know. It, it, because I have one good shooting game, other people don't get talked about. But it happens every single night, and I think that's something that everybody needs to be aware of. Jeremy, did, you know, did your success surprise you during the last several weeks? Are you really kind of stunned by it, or did you know it was there and you uh, didn't have a chance? I, I definitely can't say that you know I would have expected to come in and do this in one week, um, but. I mean, just like I said before many times, thank you to everybody, thank you to the coaches. I mean, it's unbelievable that what Coach D'Antoni and the coaching staff, Kenny Atkins, the way they've helped me transition and um, the, the system and, and the adjustments that ma they make every game, every quarter. I mean, it's just uh, it's unbelievable. Could you have imagined a week ago that the visiting crowd was, would be chanting overrated at you? Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> I thank you to them for doing that. <laughs> What's this week been like for you? Uh, I don't know. I just feel like I'm still living a dream. I'm still. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. And uh, tomorrow is an off day. I can't wait. <laughs> With you and Ricky Rubio, we had two of the really the brilliant young guards in this league. Are you aware of Ricky out there? And you know a little bit. He gave me a really hard time today. He did a great job defensively, and uh, he, he caught, uh, forced me into a couple bad turnovers, bad shots. And so uh, he's a great. He's a great basketball player. Are you really just limping a little? Are you okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll be all right. Just ice. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm just a little numb, so I can't feel my leg right now. How tired were you in that second half? Uh, I mean, there's we. I mean, we were all. We've all played what seven games in ten ten nights or something like that. So, um, if anyone's feeling fresh, I need to know what they're eating. Have you ever played this much basketball in this short amount of time? Probably, probably not. I mean, seven and ten. I don't think that happens at any level. Um, but I mean, what a win! Just what a gutsy <laughs> team win. I can't say it enough. This team, man, I love playing for this team because these guys, uh, these guys are just so unselfish. And the way that we play together, the way we we came together defensively, held them to eleven points in the fourth quarter. You can't ask for anything better than that. What did you guys say to each other right as the game ended? We were celebrating. Man, we just gave each other hugs and we said. Yeah, you know, let's let's go home, enjoy the plane ride, enjoy the day off, and get ready on Monday for for the game on Tuesday. Jeremy, do you see any similarities with you and Ricky, just in the way that your teammates seem to have responded to to you and and feed off of your energy? Uh, I mean, I don't really think my teammates just feed off my energy. Um, I think, actually, I think we have like Tyson, for example, is a vocal leader. He's our energy guy. He's our anchor for our defense. Jared. He's there every single. I mean, the stuff he says, the the way he gets everybody prepared mentally. I mean, Shump coming in with that that swag and just the, what he brings to the team. I mean, it's everybody. Landry, Landry comes in every night. He's quiet, but he comes in every night and plays his ass off and just yeah. Is that the most physical that any team has been against you? You think so far? No, I don't think so. I think probably the Lakers. And, and what was it like for you? Oh, once I missed the first one, I was fine. I just needed to shoot that first one and get it out of my way. So uh, the first one's always a tougher one for me. You've talked about how good the chemistry's been these five games. Are you looking forward to getting a chance to play to start with Amari? I mean, these they're 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 our teammates, and and you know we 
when they come back, it's going to be, I think, I don't know if the, how long, if there even will be an adjustment period, but I think, obviously, with them, they're, they're top two of the top players in the league. I mean, we just need to find a way to, to quickly come together and continue this, uh, riding this momentum. But, I mean, they, they, if, if, if we all come together, it's crazy. We don't, we don't really know how good we can be. The potential is there, though, for sure. You seem to have a pretty good relationship with Lamar. He's your locker mate. Yeah. So, I mean, what he's been through and he's coming back to this locker room, it's all joyous. Yeah, we can't wait to see him. We miss him. Uh, we miss him a lot. And, uh, you know, obviously it's tough and, you know, it's wish he didn't have to go through it. But um, when he gets back, we'll be excited. We'll be excited to see him. And um, hopefully, you know, playing basketball will get his mind off of everything a little bit. Jerry, we're starting with that next game to where you are right now and where this team is. What has this been like for you in these past eight days? Uh, it's been it's been pretty surreal. Um I'm just really trying to wake up every day and enjoy it, soak it all in. Um, at the same time, stay focused on what we're doing, which is playing, you know, basketball games, trying to help the team win. And um, besides that, just just really enjoying the whole experience. Of, you know, you're gonna have a day off tomorrow. What do you think that's gonna be like? You're gonna be able to absorb maybe what kind of the phenomenon your stories become. Um, you know, tomorrow I have. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited. I get to go see my little brother play. His last game of the college season with my family, so um, I, I'll be tomorrow. Will be his day, so uh, I'm excited for that. Jeremy, website that has been started a while ago? I heard a little bit about it, but I don't really have anything to comment about that. What does Our, that word mean? To you? Last question. Insanity. Insanity. What does, what does that, that mean, mean to you? You? people saying that? Uh, <laughs> I'm just thankful to everybody, but. Um, I don't know. I, <laughs> I guess we need to change to something more team related. <laughs>